you know the saying, hindsight 2020, right? Well, that's how it always tends to happen in many cases for me as it relates to when I discover something or believe a particular crypto has a future. So the crypto I'm about to share with you today is one that I, you know, felt had a bright future earlier this year, maybe even towards the end of last year. So when I say hindsight 2020, the only thing I can think of is, damn it, I should have bought more. What up? You got Mr. Smith. And in this video, I want to talk to you about a particular stock that you want to keep your eyes on. And, you know, it's been a slight recent boost that has people talking about it. Now, not a lot of people was talking about it when I discovered it. I just saw that it had a future and I believed in the future of it based on me feeling like certain things were on the forefront. Didn't know it was this close to being on the forefront. So the crypto that I'm speaking of, obviously, is Decentraland, a.k.a. MANA, with the symbol being M-A-N-A. -A. So Decentraland is a virtual reality-style type game, but it's a metaverse of its own, and it's been amongst the first of the metaverses. So when I was learning about the metaverse at the particular time, I discovered the Decentraland, and I saw some of the things that they were doing, and it made me grab some of the MANA early in the game. Then here comes Facebook recently that led the stock price to jump up because once Facebook rebranded or started the rebrand process and basically said that they were going to start converting and becoming a metaverse company and they want to ultimately be known as a metaverse company, this stock skyrocketed. So this is what you got to understand. We know the Facebook track record. We, If you look into the power of the metaverse, you'll see that you know it's going to be something a lot of people adopt. Now, I know it's a lot of things going on and a lot of movies that have predicted certain things that make people side-eye the idea of a metaverse or they're completely against it. However, since you know how people operate and you know that a lot of people are going to gravitate towards it, my thought process is at least position yourself to win from it, at least position yourself to make money or get wealthier from it, not get consumed in it but just understand how you can best benefit yourself and or your family. And like anything else, even though it may be some negatives and things that people are saying, the good, I feel like the good will prevail. And there are also always some positives that can come from it that would outweigh the negative if we understand the power that we possess as a people. That being said, let's talk about it. So this particular article came from Investor Place, and they said, listen, Decentraland price predictions. How high can Facebook's Meta rebrand take the MANA token? Because obviously the fact that Facebook released the information, the video, and if you haven't saw that video, I highly recommend you watch it. I watched it on the CNET platform via YouTube. So, you know, shout out to CNET. But basically, you know, it all paints a picture of what's yet to come. So when you think about it from the angle of, okay, how can I benefit from it, really dissect some of the things that they go over and see how you can position yourself to be on the forefront of some of the things that they talk about. So how far can Facebook Meta take Decentraland? Mm -hmm. Because the fact of the matter is this is just the beginning. So even though I say hindsight 2020, I should have bought more. I'm saying I wish I would have bought more when it was 80 cents, 70 cents. It had dropped down to that. Initially, when I bought it, it was a little bit over a dollar, like a dollar twelve maybe. Then, you know, it took some dips, took some dips, and I bought a little bit more. The lowest price that I got it at was like eighty cent. But here it is, you know, currently uh, right around three dollars, and I show you exactly. But anyway, the Central Land is an appealing metaverse play as Facebook makes its dive into the virtual world. Investor interests are taking a first turn towards the metaverse building. A long-standing science fiction concept, companies are now looking to turn the metaverse into a business opportunity. With one of the largest tech firms in the entire world making its own bet in this space, Decentraland, MANA is one of the biggest beneficiaries. The MANA token is tied to both blockchain tech and the increasingly popular metaverse phenomenon. And the Decentraland price predictions show the recent pivot stands to help boost MANA prices. Now, we won't read any, all of this just in social intelligence, but just kind of understand that this push has positioned the people who have the first move to posture or to prosper. Even though Facebook would do their thing, MANA was also able to benefit from it. So that being said, when you're thinking about things that you can invest in that also is moved by another industry, another entity, 
consider this one. And sometimes people think about stocks that benefit, and that's a cool place to go, but you also want to think about what can benefit on the blockchain directly, what crypto or token can benefit on the blockchain directly because the rates of return tends to be you know, uh, uncomparable. I'll just say that. The standard land price prediction, sir. So everybody had their price prediction. At first, I was talking about what the price prediction or the price prediction was basically two dollars, then three dollars, but then it surpassed that. Not to say that it won't have a rest period or a cool off or go back down, but just understand the power of it and try to position yourself to buy at a dip, buy at a low. Not necessarily when all the hype is up there. I like to talk about or look into coins that not a lot of people are talking about, and you'll see. I'm gonna share some things that I don't think. If any people are really talking about it. I haven't seen any videos per se about it, but my digging has led me to believe that some of the tokens that I've discovered have a great future in, in the not-so-distant present. So that being said, that's, this is the article that you can check out via Investor Place. And then I want to just type, you know, tap on this one just for a second. Decentraland matter prediction matter once again above $3. As I stated, it crossed over $3.00. And basically, they were recommending that you buy. But what I want you to pay attention to, and of course, there are tons of videos, but I want you to pay attention to it. And as you can see, this chart, let's go directly to coin market cap. MANA is the stock symbol, but over the past seven days is when the boost took place. You see, just not long ago, and when I say not long ago, at the time of this recording, is November 1st. Not long ago, which is October 28th, it was 80 cents. 79 cents. So literally 70-something cent about a week or so ago. And the lowest price that I got it at was at 80 cent. You know, when it went to about 78, 79, I didn't feel the urge to buy it then. However, you know, it going up all the way to almost $4 is a pretty significant increase. For some, people probably took profits here, maybe causes it to go down, come up, go down, come up. But it's hovering right here. And I'm not sure if this is going to be considered a floor. But this looks like this may be an area of support establishing itself. Now, it could go under that because this is very short term. You know, it just recently happened, it happened. But it could be an area of support. Who knows? But just kind of always pay attention to, you know, how long the stock has been around, what moves caused it, is it a, is it a legit pump, and basically if you feel like it has a bright future. Think more long term versus quick flip. And then it will position you to also get some quick flips in the process, but you're not hurt if you miss taking profits at a certain point. So just something to think about as it relates to all crypto stocks, but crypto specifically, especially as it relates to amount. So right now, with it coming down here a little bit under $3, maybe a price point to consider. Whereas right there, $3 at the time of this recording, literally, it was just under $2, but now it's right at $3. But find out when you think it'll be a good entry and exit point for you. But just understand when Facebook does certain things in the metaverse, so when metaverse does certain things like go public, uh, do certain launches, the metal will likely benefit as well. And there's some things that the central land has already done that Facebook has yet to do, which can cause them to benefit as well. So hopefully you got some value out of this video. Look forward to the other videos that are coming down the pipeline that will possibly position you to get access to something that people are not talking about per se, but can position you to earn some significant profits. That's all I got for this video. See you on the next one. Mr. Smith, signing out.